In today's review, a car that has left not only electric but also fuel-powered competitors in the corner and has been recognized as the world car of the year 2023, Hyundai Ioniq 6. Let's examine what makes it so special that it can boast of this and other words stuck on its windows. As always, unlike other car reviewers, I will not talk about the things you can see for yourself at the car showrooms. Instead, I briefly and clearly cover what others choose to keep silent about, but you definitely need to know. How much you can travel with a full battery in real life, how long will it take to charge it, and how much it would cost to purchase and operate this EV compared to the fuel-powered alternatives. By the way, OEV for me regularly uploads videos about the latest electric cars, so subscribe to our channel, be sure to click on the bell icon to receive notifications so you don't miss the most relevant reviews for you. I'm Tadas from OEV for me about electric cars in a nutshell. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Depending on the market, Hyundai offers up to three different versions of the Ioniq 6, with 54 and 74 kWh net battery capacities. The electric car with the smaller battery is driven only by the rear wheels and the motor with 151 horsepower, while the 74 kWh Ioniq 6 can also have all-wheel drive which the 325 horsepower motors accelerate to 100 km per hour in around 5 seconds. The 228 horsepower rear-wheel drive version, which we are testing today, is slower to accelerate, but it's more than enough for a fun drive, especially when switching from a petrol-powered car. After the Ioniq 5, which was characterized by not very aerodynamic shapes, Hyundai designers decided to experiment in the wind tunnel. And the fruits of their work we can see here. The Ioniq 6 has one of the lowest drag coefficients, and the efficiency or consumption of this EV falls into the top 1% of all electric cars ever produced. So, with the same battery size, this EV is able to cover distance of 100 km longer than the older brother Ioniq 5. Although in real-world conditions it will not be possible to achieve the VLTP declared figure, but in the summer, in the city, you can expect to wind the charger cable only every 700 km. But no matter how aerodynamic an electric car is, the laws of physics affect everyone. After going to the highway in winter, you will only cover half of this distance, so plan your journeys with more frequent intermediate stops. Visit the Best TV for Me online platform and find out how far other versions of this Hyundai can go with the full battery in real life when driving different conditions and speed. I probably won't surprise anyone saying that modern electric cars can fill up battery quite quickly. 
and it will take only around 15 or even 10 minutes to get 100 kilometers of range. But I really recommend that you take the time to find out what the real capabilities of your chosen models are when charging the battery. Because you'll be surprised to learn that you could spend up to seven times more time to charge up for your trip even when choosing similar priced models. I'm happy that Hyundai is one of the few manufacturers using 800 volt technology, which allows super fast battery charging. Therefore, the Ionic 6 boasts the first place in our top among all electric cars ever produced. 5 minutes. This is how long it will take on average to charge the battery for 100 km of road and an average charging speed using highway consumption figures. Please be aware that you will only achieve this speed with extremely powerful chargers, of which unfortunately there are not many yet. The Ionic 6 battery can be charged at home AC charger with a maximum power of 11 kW. So even if you have a 22 kW charging station, you will still be able to put about 62 km per hour into this Hyundai. Unfortunately, the cost of purchasing electric cars is one of the main factors deterring buyers from making a quick decision to abandon fuel-powered alternatives. But you shouldn't look only at the purchase price of an EV and complain that electric cars are unaffordable. Calculate how much you will realistically spend every month on car leasing, travel and maintenance. Here's what you should consider before making a final decision to buy or not this electric Hyundai. Hyundai no longer has any gasoline-powered model that would be a direct equivalent of the Ionic 6. So, representatives from the dealership provided data on Hyundai's most popular gasoline-powered model, the Tucson. I will agree that it competes in a different category and is even 16,000 euros cheaper, so the comparison is not very accurate. But let's see if the electric vehicle has the potential to be competitive when considering the operational costs. I will be using the best TV for me total cost of ownership calculator where different parameters can be set. The average driver covers at least 20,000 km per year. The state support differs from country to country, but in Lithuania we get 5,000 euros when buying new EV. The price of the fuel is currently around 1.8 euros and for electricity an average of about 20 cents per kilowatt hour. So, over five years, the total cost of ownership of the gasoline Tucson comes close to the Ionic 6, but the amounts paid for the electric car are still higher. But if we estimate the cash received from the sale of the cars, their residual value in the graph below, we can see that the total amount spent on Ionic 6 is actually lower. So, 16,000 euros more expensive electric car will cost you less than a fuel-powered Tucson. Open the Best TV for Me calculator and see what this math looks like for your personal situation when entering your kilometers driven, the price of electricity or the planned period of use of the car. If you are still on the fence about buying a new electric car, maybe you should consider a used one. Their selection has grown a lot and you can definitely find one that meets your needs and financial capabilities. But don't buy a cat in a sack. Be sure to check if an electric car that has traveled 100 or more thousand kilometers has a battery health certificate. Because the degradation of the battery of used electric cars is sometimes very significant. And even an EV that has traveled relatively little may have lost up to a quarter or even a third of its battery volume. Visit the evtest.lt website and learn how to easily check the condition of the EV battery. <music>